All right, so we have the Page of Swords present here. Um, some of you are considering or actually taking a break from someone or something. Um, for some of you, this could be um, the need to take a break from something or someone due to health issues, or this could be something pertaining to um, just being emotionally drained, physically drained. Um, but there is a need to take a time out and, and to rest to promote some healing. Now, with the Page of Swords being present here, um, this also serves the purpose of during this time needing to really look at the details of something, of a situation, a person, um, something that you've been working on. During this time of rest and recovery, there needs to be a very, very sharp eye when it comes to the details of some things. The reason why I'm also seeing this is that the Seven of um, Cups is here. So there is a little bit of confusion here for some of you. Um, and this is why your energy is really low at this point in time. Um, you know, because you don't have certain details to sift through the confusion. Now, what I'm also seeing here is that for some of you, you have a lot of different options that have come your way or will soon come your way and you're really trying to figure out which option is best for you. So this is why it's really good to pay attention to detail. I'm also getting the vibe that for some of you, you have taken a break from someone and there is someone that is watching you from afar. I feel like on your social media, that sort of thing. And, um, you know, you are a little confused about where you stand with this person. Maybe you're not having as much communication or any communication, but just know that this person might be watching you from afar while there is lack of communication between the two of you. So again, however this resonates for your particular situation. So let's take a look at the foundation here. Now I'm also hearing that for some of you um, physically, um, there may have been someone that hasn't been feeling well um, due to some certain illness. Um, could also be, I don't know who this is for, I'm seeing someone may have had a a broken bone. I'm, I'm hearing broken leg. So for some reason, um, with that coming up, there has been time away from work, other activities, okay? And almost wondering what you're gonna do for this next phase, because you're thinking about um, this healing. When is this healing gonna complete itself so I can get back to work, doing the things that I need to do, and so you really need to be focused on your healing process, not getting back up, getting right back into it. Um, a lot of you are having a little bit of confusion because you don't really know what this means for you. I don't know who that is for, um, but yeah, um, you need to be more focused on getting recovered and restored, okay? So foundation here, yep. Mental entrapment. So some of you are, are really, really mentally entrapped. Um, there are some things that you are not paying attention to. And this is why the Page of Swords come out. This is not for everyone, but some of you, there is confusion and there is a need for a time out because there's particular details that some of you are not willing to face or haven't been able to see because you have either been self-blinded or someone may have been um you know blinding you and and only letting you see certain aspects of of themselves or the situation that they're in and this is why there is some confusion here now the two of cups there is a connection here for some of you that you have with a particular person um and you're blinded by um this connection you don't really know what's going to happen in this connection you feel trapped you feel really really tied into it and um this is what is also causing this confusion you don't know certainly why you are attached to this particular person now with the two of cups coming out this could be a soulmate or twin flame situation and maybe this is why you don't understand it yet some of you have not awakened fully to soulmate connection and how it works and for some of you, this connection is here 
good or bad, to serve a purpose of self-awareness, to be able to complete a journey of knowing thyself a little bit better than you did before knowing this person, okay? Um, also, what I am seeing here is some of you don't have a connection to yourself, okay? Um, you feel connected to someone else, but see this? You feel connected to someone else. You feel a strong connection. But as far as you singly, you don't have a sincere connection with thyself, okay? Um, and this is another reason why this rest in recovery, um, you're needing to heal yourself, so to speak, um, and get some more self-discovery before this um, can really go into fruition if that is what is intended to happen. Sometimes that does, um, does show up in our lives when we are more attached to a connection before we are connected to our true self. So I'm seeing that. All right, so let's see. What is the best case scenario in this situation? What needs to happen in this situation for Gemini? Wow. All right. I'm going to take all of these. That's what I've been doing lately. Um, I used to be like, oh, that's too many cards. But I'm not going to um, dictate what spirit is trying to do here. All right. The two of wands. There needs to be a plan here. Okay, Gemini. Um, you need to make a decision um, when it comes to your life. There, It's like what I'm hearing is, are you going to continue on the road that you have been headed down? Or are you going to look to see what is really for you. Sometimes we try to orchestrate a certain journey for ourselves and that's not always the one that is intended for us, okay? And for some of you, because you do have options, if you are the individual that has a lot of different options that have come your way, like we said, you need to pay attention to detail. This is you trying to figure out which path you should take. With the Five of Cups here, all right, there is some feeling of loss here or disconnection, all right? And again, I feel like this is disconnection from yourself. Um, you might even feel lost within yourself, but again, someone here might even feel disconnected or lost in a particular relationship with someone, okay? Now, <clears throat> this Knight of Swords could be the individual that you are dealing with, okay, Gemini? This could be someone that... Um, isn't really consistent in your life, comes in, um, this person could have a really sharp tongue, they could really speak their truth um, to you at some point in time and not really think about the delivery. This could be you also, Gemini. You could be someone that speaks the hardcore truth, um, but I'm hearing that for some of you, you're not speaking the hardcore truth towards yourself. It's like you're, you're, more easy to see what things need to be done or addressed in other people, but not really fully um, stressing the truth to yourself. And again, this is why this self-awareness needs to happen, this re rest and recovery. Um, Ace of Swords, clarity, okay? Um, there needs to be some mental clarity here, all right? And this is why we have the Eight of Swords down below in the foundation. Um, there is some confusion for some of you based on um, more than one options or just wondering when something is going to happen. Um, for some of you that are suffering from an ailment, some of you have worked really, really hard and it's, it's difficult for you not to work. And this is why you feel a loss, okay? You might feel like a little bit guilty because you can't be as productive as you want to. And it's like, you need to stress the truth to yourself that right now you need to heal. You need to get some mental clarity. All right. And yes, I do feel like you want to make a plan and you do need to make a plan, but you need to make a plan towards your, um, your healing process and your mental clarity. Now with the Empress showing up, all right, this Empress <clears throat> for some of you, could be the, th the fact that some of you could possibly be pregnant. So maybe some of you are on maternity leave, all right, and um, feeling like you're not able to do things or during your pregnancy at this point in time, like wondering what is going to happen, what's the plan, 
Um, some of you might be planning this pregnancy on your own. Um, and there is a lost, you know, connection between you and this other person. So I do see, see that for someone. Um, but this also speaks about abundance. Okay. This is, um, you know, during, and this also speaks about creativity. So during this time of rest and recovery, for some of you, um, this is really coming out to say that once you really get out of this um, detachment from yourself and really stress the truth to yourself and get some mental clarity, then you'll be able to bring in more abundance and creativity for yourself. All right. Now, the four of wands speaks of many things. This is freedom. Um, this is, you know, for some of us, you know, we look at this and we say, oh, that's the wedding card. So some of you, this is going to create freedom for you. You can now be free during this time of rest and recovery you will get reconnected with yourself. You'll have some more mental clarity. You'll be able to be more creative and you will be able to be more free. Some of you, this will be in entrepreneurship, okay? Now, I'm also seeing that as far as a relationship and being disconnected, um, what needs to happen is have this mental clarity to say, you know what, I do want this new beginning. I do want to be abundant in my life and I need to free myself from this entrapment now this could be just freeing yourself from your own um mental um entrapments or this could possibly be um that you have mental clarity to know that this is no longer serving you so however that applies for you there all right so let's see here six of pentacles okay so there is an outside energy here that for some of you you might feel like, you know, you have really, really gave um, something to and you feel like you are always um, giving to them. And um, I also get the idea that this is a person that you do deeply care about. So it's it's not that you mind even giving to this person, but it's like at the same time, you don't feel like this person is able to give for some of you all right now for some of you this outside influence is someone that you feel gives something to you there's something that this person um does provide for you and this is why you are staying attached to this person there's something here that this person provides for you or you provide for them um let's get some more clarity why is the six of pentacles here you might give this person some type of, um, you know, uh, support, emotional support. Um, some of you might, this might be financial support. Um, okay, so let's see here. Yeah, so I get, this is what I'm seeing here. I feel like you feel like this person doesn't show reciprocity, okay? Um, now what I'm also seeing here is we have the four of wands showing up right next to the betrayal card. Okay. So for some of you, this person could possibly already be in a situation where they are either married or in some type of home environment with another person. Okay. And so this person only can give you what they can give you because they are already in a situation or this person may have betrayed you in some type of way and you don't really know if this is going to go further until a committed relationship. There's something about this person. I get the idea that you feel like this person is more so um, a taker than a giver, okay? This is, this is the energy that I'm feeling from here. Um, or this person can only give you um, monetary things. They can't give you the full emotional support that you would want because they are in a household with someone else. Or you feel like all they can give you is an emotional support. They can't give you the full thing. So it's you almost feel like this person can only give a certain part of themselves. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Now, now if you are someone that, um, you know, this is pertaining to, 
you know, you being out um, and not being able to be as productive due to, like I said, this, I don't know who this is for, but because you have been working really hard and doing a lot of things, um, and now this time you need to really rest it. I think that for you, whoever you are, whoever I'm speaking to, it just keeps going back to this particular person. Um, during this time, you think this is more about you going through some type of physical, um, if it was surgery or an accident that you had, or if you're out on some type of medical leave, you really think that you're just out because of that. But this situation was manifested in order for you to take some time away to look at what you really want, to really get creative and build something for yourself, um, get to get closer to yourself for some of you. And the outside influence is that there is there is something that is given to you all right so some of this might be you do feel like you are getting let's just say if you are receiving a little bit of income from somewhere or a little bit of help from someone but you feel like you need to contribute you feel like you are the one that isn't able to bring more to the table so you almost feel like you are not that you're betraying them, but you almost feel like you don't want that person to feel like you are just sitting back or maybe this is your family. You don't want them to feel like you are not trying to contribute something. Um, I'm hearing I don't want anyone to think that I'm doing this on purpose or trying to get away with my responsibilities. And I don't know why you would feel that way. Um but yeah, whoever that message is for, it's such an odd message, okay? Um, but let's look at the, the outcome. <laughs> the hair font comes out. So for some of you, um, there is going to be a real commitment that comes your way in the, uh, in the, in the future here. And for some of you, this is going to be more so, um, like we said, taking that time to, to reconnect with yourself. And this is going to cause some type of soul journey all right so let's see here some of you are going to make a, a a choice and commit between these options um that you have <laughs> spirit is so funny they're like i don't even know why you're clarifying that because it is what it is i don't know i always try to clarify um yeah but definitely a commitment to someone to a situation or a soul journey here. Queen of Pentacles, yep. A commitment, someone is gonna be more compassionate. Um, and Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, so let me take a look at this. Because remember, we have the Page of Swords needing to really look at um, all of the details of some things. And so now we're seeing this here in reverse. So what i'm seeing here with the queen of pentacles is there is going to be someone that does come in and really offers you something they're going to be very compassionate um you know and this also talks about creativity here so they're going to help you um in this commitment you'll be able to be more creative because you are vibrating off of love okay um if this is in fact like a spiritual journey finding that compassion for yourself and being able to be really, really creative. Now, when we're looking at the Page of Swords in reverse, okay, um, for some of you, this is why you needed to really pay attention to detail because, um, again, with the Page of Swords being in reverse, this could speak about... Um, someone that could be really really manipulative and con and very cunning okay so this person might offer you some type of commitment and come off very very compassionate but this person is really creative with being um manipulative okay um they might not be as reliable okay as you thought they were um or something about the information that you received was not as reliable as you thought. So a little bit of caution there. Um, there could be some gossip, okay? Um, 
there could be some gossip around you. Um, also, if you are um, going to start this commitment with someone here, which I do see that you are going to commit to something or someone, there could be a little bit of jealousy that comes with this where people start to gossip a little bit about your relationship or about what you are now committed to. And if this is that you go on this spiritual journey with yourself, there could be a little bit of gossip that happens to where it's like, you know, this person, you know, they, they've really changed or really different or they think they're better than, you know, other people, that sort of thing. So I do see that um, being present. Now, I don't feel like there's much danger here. Um, when we're talking about this manipulator, I think that you will use your discernment. I definitely see that someone is going to try to commit to some of you, um, but this is why you've been prompted to, um, with the Page of Swords, look at this um, very, very closely. Let's, I haven't pulled these out in a minute here, but something is telling me to pull this out. In terms of love for Gemini, this commitment that comes forward, this love interest. Give us some more insight as to the motivation. And I mean, this could also be, um, this could also be that the person, um, you know, that the person, maybe they don't, they're not trying to manipulate you in the positive way or in the negative way. I know a lot of people are like, well, what, how a manipulator that's negative. This person really might be doing something to really try to prove that they're really compassionate towards you this time and really try to find a way to manipulate you to see this, okay? So we have engagement here, which is so hilarious to me because, like we said, this commitment. So it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. 